Hi guys, it's Thursday evening, 20 past 10, and I've only just managed to sit down because I've been at mum's today. So, I'm just going to sit you there for a minute because I've just dragged I don't know how much gear upstairs, including a mountain bike, which I'll show you first. But, uh, first things I want to do is get a drink. Also, I've had about two hours sleep. For some reason, I just couldn't sleep last night. I don't think I actually fell asleep until at least 6.30 this morning and woke up around about 9, so... That was about 9.30, so I was about, what would that be? I don't know, roughly... Two, uh, roughly three hours sleep. Ish. did take a trip to the tip today, or the dump, or the recycle centre, whatever you want to call it. Because um, Mum loaded the car up before she left to come to town, so we stopped by the dump on the way back to hers. And I got three bikes, and two sort of storage unit cabinet things. I'll show you what I mean, I'll show you them first. These, I've got this, these pull-out trays with uh, multiple com um, compartments in and uh, another one of those which actually looks brand new <laughs> and there's actually two here I think because they look like they're um, clipped together anyway I've got three bikes two of them are here, they're downstairs in the shed one men's mountain bike, one lady's mountain bike um, and i got a very tatty um, three-speed cycle. Uh, you're probably wondering why parts. I don't have very many sort of old three-speed parts or spares. And I've got a couple of bikes I want to do as well as keeping hold of some spares for the ones that I use and the ones I want to build, so for £12 for the lot, couldn't argue. But um, Biddle's also had a mountain bike that he sold me for a tenner. And for those that don't know what a tenner is, it's £10. Um, he sold me this. Look at that. It's a Viking FX Pro front suspension. And someone dumped it down the recycle centre. And apparently, if what Biggles say is true, he spent, or the owner spent 15 quid on a brand spanking new tyre for this. Which I think was this one. And, uh, yeah, just took it to the dump. There's a bit of rust around here. Cover's missing, but I've actually left them in the car. Biggles did give me a replacement pair for this. Um, so that's good, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that seat can go down quite a way if I uh, take the rear reflector off. Because I'm actually tempted to keep this one as well. I know I said I don't want any more, but I think this one would be too good. That and my brother is actually uh, <laughs> angling after this one. He was hinting at it earlier. So it may end up... Well, I could give it to him as a Christmas present, but he's got one and he barely rides it. And this one might actually be a bit too tall for him. I don't know, though. If I can get on it, he would. Because he's only a smidge taller than I am. That is a nice stem. I don't... Better. Sort of a bronzy coloured, gold, goldy coloured stem. But, uh, front disc brake, V brake at the rear, excellent tyres, mud guards. Don't know if the brakes or anything work. Gears, they seem to work okay. 
I might have said the cover's missing on this one, which isn't a... It's just a cosmetic issue, really. It's not stopping the gears from working. They still, you know, still work perfectly fine. 21 speed. I don't know, I'll get this working and I'll take it for a spin for a little while and uh, we'll see what it's like. But the other two mountain bikes I got aren't too bad. They're nothing as good as this one. But uh, they were definitely salvageable. And if I actually um, had the room in the car, I would have salvaged a smaller kid's bike with 24-inch mountain bike wheels in it. But I just didn't have the room. <laughs> so, I'm not busy. It's probably a busy Saturday, because I'm going to Mum's again tomorrow. Right. But I have got other goodies. <laughs> um, Stepdad gave me these, because we were cleaning out the attic today. Or made a start anyway. We've got Mum's books down and she's had a sort through them and actually chucked a load. Um, but these, believe it or not, they're made by Britons. Um, but I think these are designed more for perhaps kids or something because... <laughs> and then you got... And the old Massey Ferguson does the same thing. It's exactly the sa same circuit in each. So yeah, the only difference is this has got the dual wheels on the back and a loader. No idea where I'm going to put them, but uh, I'm under instructions that I'm not allowed to put them on eBay. Because <laughs> they would sell as their Britons someone would have them even though they are mostly plastic although I actually have to say I actually like this one. Oh yeah these have also got rear flashes as well and judging by the light setup on these with the turn signals up here this is the American layout we don't do that over here in Europe or Britain we have them on the fenders and a little cluster and you know in the orange beacon on the roof that's a 6480 this one Messi Ferguson Dyna 6 it's actually quite nice and the, um, the old hood opens up as well same on the JD uh, you knock that off there again my foot is going squarely up your ass. capiche let's just move these I've got a couple of these which are um, PC surround sound systems or audio systems, whatever you want to call them. Um, that's weird. Look at the right speaker. It's a serial connector type connector. How odd. Don't know if this one works. It's a Logitech. Um, I've got this, which is a Yamaha CD tuner. I don't know if it might be part of an old stack system, but we've got this, and it's got all the speakers and whatnot on the back. Again, I didn't actually think to ask if that actually worked. Then we've got this one, which is another sort of computer subwoofer. Well, actually, I suppose I could use it on a TV. Because it has got full surround sound speakers. That's what's in this box. These go with the Logitech. And I've got a bag of electrics here that uh, I took over a while ago and just never got to putting them up. And that ain't going to happen now, so I brought them back. That's the front light that came off um, the bike I got today. Good old Ever Ready. Yeah, so these two large speakers here, they go to the Logitech. And this lot including the power supply. I've got a power supply and five speakers. Oh, for uh, this one, and apparently the creative one down here does work. Sony stereo that my stepdad was using up in the attic from when he was playing with his railway, but it's decided that doesn't want to work. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just decided it doesn't want to work, which is a bit of a bitch, because he's got a CD in here that he wants. 
So, I've got somehow... It just wouldn't turn on properly or do anything. I don't know if it's because it's damp, where it's been in the attic, so... I actually think I'm going to leave this perhaps till tomorrow night up here, where it'll dry out a bit, and uh, try it again. That'd be a shame, because it's a nice little um, Sony. Nice little Sony unit. It looks like a stack system, but it isn't at all. One system. What we got on the back? I'll show you the back of this Yamaha as well. Let me just turn this around. Put my lights on as well. So we've got AM antenna connections there, FM there. Connect a phono to this, or a record deck, turntable. It's got a switch here. ISS, whatever that is. One, two, three. System reset. Ah. Oh, I might actually try that. I might need a system reset. Speaker connectors. I don't think that's... No, it's not removed. That's part of it. And there's the power connector. But I think that would actually be um, pretty neat to get that working and set up in the bedroom. Have a nice stereo in the system. In the bedroom, rather, in the system. Let's put you there for a moment. Let's turn that round. Back end of this. There's actually got quite a lot of uh, sockets and things. What have we got? got subwoofer, which I actually have at Mum's. So now I've got this, I might keep it. I was going to get rid of it. Now, uh, what's that? DAB antenna, digital radio antenna, then. No. Pardon. There's an FM. Excuse me, that was rather loud. Straight down the camera, was that just a AM antenna? Then we've got AUX in, AUX2 in, AUX1 in and out, and then we've got tape in and out. And of course, your right left speaker um, terminals there. So, yeah, I think this might just be a single unit then, as it's a got most of what you'd want in one unit. It's quite long and deep though for some reason. What is it? What's the model number for those that might be interested? Hang on. It is... Made in China. <laughs> CRX M170. And the Sony one is an HCD-H1500. Compact disc deck receiver. I presume the deck is for the tape deck. So that's a twin tape deck on this one. So, I've got quite a little goodie haul up here, haven't I? Uh, I did bring a computer keyboard home, but that was mine anyway that I took over ages ago. Uh, I've got this because this would. I know I've got most of my Lego sword, but trust me. I'm going to need extra. <laughs> it's almost identical to that. It is actually identical to these top two. So it got... Ah. No, they are identical. For us, just one's blue, one's black. That's alright then. Find somewhere to mount that. Or stand it. I'm sure I can fill it with Lego of some sort, or for something, but you know, £12 for the whole bloody lot, you can't complain about that. The ladies mountain bike I've got shouldn't actually take a lot to do. The brake cables have seized, so I'll definitely need the brake cables replaced. Um, haven't tried the gears, so I don't actually know if they're, the cables are seized up on that or not. But I'm sure it'll go again. Frame-wise is in fairly good condition, so is the men's one. A bit dirty, needs a clean, but that'll go again. <coughs> but at the rate the weather's going, I'm going to have to do them up here, in the bedroom. That's been bloody shit today. Typically. <laughs> it was shit on my birthday when I went over to Mum's. It was shit the Sunday last Sunday, and today it was shit again. 
So no doubt it'll be shit tomorrow. It's supposed to get bloody cold as well. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else I want to talk about. I've shown you all that. Oh my god. Most of it stink like cigarette smoke. I can see why people don't like buying items on eBay if they come from a smoker's home, because you get that smell in them. And Mum's the only one that bloody smoke now. Well, she'll never quit. Not in a million years will she ever quit. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, I'm not sure what stepdad's got planned for tomorrow. I want to get some bikes dismantled. I want to get that three-speed I bought today dismantled. Uh, I can't bring any bikes home yet. I would have left the mountain bikes at Mum's to do there, but the chances are I'm going to be roped into helping, you know, get things sorted, because um, they are going to move. Um, not far from where they are now, but it's a case of uh, needs must. Um, the problem is, landlord, he's, he is a nice bloke. Don't get me wrong, love him to bits. But the house itself is in need of a lot of work. Um not bodge repairs either like the landlord loves to do to save a bit of money <laughs> which is understandable even though he's a, well alleged so I've been told he's a millionaire anyway the bottom line is there's so much damp in that every way you look there's just damp on every wall because it's one of these houses with the um, sort of stony cement rendering on the outside and that has actually blown so it's not sticking to the brickwork anymore so moisture is getting up between that and the brickwork and that's what's causing the damp so really it all needs scraping off and redoing uh, to fix or to partially fix the damp problem some cavity wall insulation would help as well I think because it's an old farm cottage, so it's got no cavity wall insulation or anything. Just double glazed windows. But the problem is with damp, you get the black mould, and that can be hazardous to your health. And that might explain why Mum's been having a lot of sinus issues lately. I mean, Mum was emptying the air in cupboard, and two of the black sacks of linen she had in there were just wringing wet from damp in the air and cupboard alone and it's all in the kitchen she was emptying things out of kitchen cupboards that had mould growing on them you can just see it up the walls because um, environmental health got involved and uh, it's them that's actually um, getting the ball rolling for them to move. I've been offered a bungalow. Disabled bungalow, I might add. Because uh, stepdad is going, well, not downhill. It's not good at the minute. <laughs> He's having a lot of problems with both arms. Uh as well as his left leg still two years after the accident he's still having issues uh, but yeah obviously they had to fill in the application because the local council they nominate you to local housing authorities so in a sense it's a good thing because mum and stepdad have both wanted to get back into um, social housing or whatever you want to call it like what I've got you know, there's loads of companies, there's Wary, there's Victory who I'm with um, I know there's a couple that don't exist anymore but 
balls. <laughs> Can't remember. Anyway. Uh, and she said eventually they'll probably put in for an exchange because you can exchange when you rent through local authority like I do you can put up for an exchange um, they won't let you if you owe rent though you have to pay off any rent arrears that you have but as long as everything's clear and it don't, you don't even have to be with the same housing association so you know a victory housing tenant could swap with um, a wary housing tenant as long as the housing associations agree. But yeah, so they'll get their foot on the ladder, so to speak. They're going to be in a little, little town called Wroxham, which I can actually jump on the train if I want to. You know, just get the train up get a return ticket maybe and come back in the evenings because I could cycle to mum's from the train station so that's one advantage She's there's the river in Roxham, there's Roy's everything is there so including my sister because that's where she lives with a boyfriend <laughs> so yeah anyway I'm gonna uh, shut down because I am absolutely shed. Like I said, three hours sleep, and I've been helping sort out. Well, we've got half the attic sorted, I think. We've still got my stepdad's railway to take apart. You know where it? They just haven't actually offered the house to them yet, but the, or the bungalow, I should say, but. Uh, they're the only ones that have been nominated, so I don't see why they wouldn't get it. Uh, but anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. No doubt I'll come home with something tomorrow. Possibly. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Bye.